Fine, it's fine. It's deep theolo Christian theological terminology. Mm -hmm. So hypostatic quality is something that is unique to each of the, the hypostases that the others don't have. So for instance, the Son is begotten, the Father is unbegotten, the Spirit spirates, the, the Father does not. You know, so each one of the persons has a quality that is theirs, that is not shared by the other two and thus we distinguish them as persons for that reason. In Christianity, is God, like your, your idea of God, is he like all powerful? Yes. So why isn't it just one thing? Can't he just make all of those characteristics within just one? Well, they're not characteristics. They're, 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 they're called divine. Yeah, we would call them divine persons. And, and the thing is, the thing that makes God God, the, the, the fact that there the, are the three persons of the Trinity does, isn't a limitation on their power. But you, you just said that they each have different things, that's how you can identify them. Correct, and I, and I actually stated what those different things were. I actually yes, said did, it to yes, you. Did, yeah. Begotten, spirated and unbegotten. Mm -hmm. So these are the reasons why we distinguish between the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. But the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit are all powerful. I just, what I'm having trouble with is yeah. like your definition of because I used uh, entities, you said persons is a better definition. Yeah. No, we, we use persons because it's just the language that the church guides us to, so we use persons. The but, but there's only one church, one holy catholic and apostolic church. Okay, so you're the catholic sect, is that right? No, 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 just, there's just one of Christ, where we all belong to it as Christians. What about the other... You just have to ignore this guy, He's, he just comes here and trolls everybody. That's fine, that's what yeah. we're here for. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, so I'm Muslim, by the way, anyway, so I'm just yeah. asking just to... No, 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 worries. What's your name? Shad. Shad, nice to meet you, Shad. Nice Bob. Nice to meet This guy, he likes Muslims so you, much. You just have to keep... <laughs> look, he's, he's just going to... That's fine, that's yeah, fine. Like, I'm not here to like quarrel with you or anything. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. here just to kind of understand... And that's fine. And I'm, ...from your point of view. Yeah. Obviously, I have my own point of view of Christianity. Yeah. I'm just trying to get in, like your arguments for the same reasons that... Yeah. So I'm trying to compare... Yeah. What you guys say and what we guys say and see yeah. if it makes yeah. sense in that's my That's totally fine. The only thing is, which is the main thing about, I think. Well, I've understood to, and I'm no scholar or anything by any means, yeah. but it's just our definitions differ a lot when it comes to the monotheism bit. That's why I'm yeah. questioning you on that. Well, let, well, let's, the three into yeah. one, for us, it doesn't go. Yeah. For you, it, you said it goes. Yeah. There's three persons, but they all have different, yeah. I don't want to say characteristics, because I said that was wrong, but they have different attributes. Yeah, they have hyperstatic attributes. Hyperstatic attributes, right? Yeah. <clears throat> the issue I have is if it's... If your God is all powerful, why can't He just be one? Like, what, what is the but, need but why, for free? But, but one second. For, like, what, what, why do you assume that there's some kind of limitation to power if God is three persons? There is. God has no limitation of power. Right. So, so why make that connection then? You're just saying like, if God is all powerful, why does He need to be three? Like, but then that brings the does it limit what? His power to be no, three? No, but why is there three? In your right. point of view, why in is so, there three rather than just one? Which is a great question. And the answer to that is God has always been three. There's no, it's not that he became three at some point in the past, mm. or it's not that he became three and chose to be three. Mm -hmm. He just is, and just always has been, and never has been anything else. So, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, Jesus is one of... The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, he's the Son, right? Yeah, the, the, son, the, son, the right? son is Jesus. So, he's always been about? Yeah. So where was he for? Like he was born from Mary. Yeah, he was. He was uh, in the highest heaven with the Father. So there's two of them there then. Yeah. Well, three. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But how does that make one and like one God? If there's so, so, so if they had a fight, that's that. Who would win? They, they, <laughs> but, but I said, question, though, yeah, yeah, brother, okay, with, with respect, this this for us is kind of like a ridiculous question because. But it isn't the, because when he, when the idea that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit would have a fight doesn't make any sense but if, to us. if they're both all powerful it's like yeah. uh, an unstoppable force versus an unimmovable object. yeah like, but, what, but, what but they, 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 the idea no they, they, you they, can't say they like, have, oh, it, could, it would just <coughs> never happen like no they have one will they have one power they <coughs> have uh, all, all their actions are one so, they, so there's no one. possibility of them fighting so if their one. will is one and their action is one and their power is one then there is no possibility for them to fight. So they are one. 
Yes, they are one. This is what we believe. They are one. But there's three of them. Yeah. So, so let me let me let me come to that. Let me. Please. Yeah. So in the in the same way, like do a thought experiment with me, uh, 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 Shad. If you've got an, an an infinite chasm of water in a mountain, and a river breaks out from one side, and a, a river breaks out from another side, so you've got a river flowing down the east and a, a river flowing down the west. Oh, and you're, you're going to say it converges on the new Yeah, one. and and they're, they're coming from the same source. You would agree with me that you can count three in the sense you can count river A, you can count river B, and you can count the source, and that's one, two, three, right? So they came from the source. Just just follow my logic. If, 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 okay, you, then I'll ask off. Go right. So, would you agree you can count one, two, three, river A, river B, and then the source? That's three things, yes. Yes. Would you also agree that since the two rivers have emerged from the same source and they're all the same substance, which is water, H2O, that in that sense you can say they're all the same thing? Yes, but they came from the source, which was water. Would you answer that question? Would you agree that they're all the same thing? If it's rivers, yes. But right, thank you. So, in that way, if the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit all have identically the same thing, that essence that makes them God, and it's the same, it's not different, then in that sense we can describe them as one, correct? No, because it, they're not the same, because they're two different Then, rivers. Then you've, you've, yeah, you've, then basically you're just ignoring what I've uh, just said. It isn't, because <clears throat> firstly, my first, I don't want to interrupt you, apologies. If they came from one source, yeah, and then they split into two, and then they two merged rivers. again. No, I never said merged. So they just so there's one, the spirit, right? No, nope, didn't say that Which either. Sorry, I know I'm trying to like yeah. understand it. So the source would be the equivalent of the father. The father, okay. So we have the and father. the two rivers would be the equivalent of the son and the Holy Spirit. You have the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. yeah. So they come from the father, then they diverge. Oh, yeah. Sorry. What's the opposite? Di they, 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 they emanate from one is begotten, separate, one is spirates. Yeah. No, they don't separate. Because the source of a river is not separate to the river itself, is it? Because if, if the source was separated from the river, the river. A pool of water if, the source, if the source was separate from the river, the river would cease to exist. A river can only exist if it has a source. Yes, but a source. Correct. It's just one. One, one what? It's just one thing. Yes. Right? Correct. And then that one thing. Yeah. Turns into two things. So that one so thing... From one thing, two things come out of it. Yes. There we go. And then they just carry on forever. Yes. So originally, if you go back, there was just one thing. No. Because this is... this is The, the, the picture analogy that I've used of the source and the rivers is obviously in a temporal, geographical world with cause and that's effect. That's the issue of the whole... However, one second. Person. One second. On. But what I'm talking about is something that doesn't have a beginning in time. In other words, it was always like that. Well, it was like what, sorry? That the Son and the Holy Spirit emerges so from like, the Father. When it came into existence, it was just source, boom, two things. They never, it was the never like, there was one. Never came into existence. Never so, came so into it's always existence. Been father and then it's always Holy been Spirit Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit, yeah. Always so been never Father, actually Son, and Holy Spirit. It's never, separated. it's never, well, yes, we, I, at no point did I say separated. And no, at no, no, point, no. no point would I concede separation, because if we say separation, then we're talking about multiple gods, and we don't believe in multiple gods. We're talking about the same god. I get that it makes sense for you. Yeah. But now let, me, that, 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 but now me. let me ask you a question, because the, the, the Quran... I can tell you're quite experienced at this as well, so don't yeah. try to take advantage of it. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not. Shad, 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 Shad. This is my first time here. I'm Shad. The thing is... I'm here to learn, literally. That, that is totally fine. Yeah. So, so, in short, Shad, like, when I read the Quran, the Quran claims that it's free from error, and it has no errors in it. And then when I read the Quran's description of my belief in the Trinity, what I read in the Trinity and what I read in my Bible are not the same thing when I read about the Quran. So the Quran says that I believe in three gods, and the Quran says that those gods are Allah, Jesus, and Mary. Now that's not what I believe as a Christian. Now that means for me as a Christian, when I read the Quran, I see a blatant error. And that's that, from a Christian point of view. But it's also an accurate point of view, because just as you get to define what Islam is... It's accurate for, for a Christian's point of view. No, so, so, so just as you as a Muslim get to define what Islam is, mm -hmm. I as a Christian get to define, I don't define what define it, it comes from Exactly, revelation. and it's the same for Christians. So we take what we believe from the Bible.
The Bible doesn't teach the, the kind of trinity that the Quran is teaching, so the Quran is wrong. Well, we're making the same point. We're saying Christianity, for you, is from a Christian's point of view. So which is Obviously. Yeah, obviously, that makes sense. Yeah. So for you, it's 100% accurate, yeah? Yeah. And same as for me, the Quran, the way it teaches monotheism, in my eyes, is completely accurate. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not disputing what the Quran says no, no, I know, about I know, I know. Allah. But I'm just saying, if, because we're looking at it from different points yeah. of view, for you, it's your reality, but for me, this is my reality. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, but what I, yeah, no, totally. And what I'm trying to say to you is that what the Quran, I'm not trying to dispute with you what the Quran says about Taweed or the oneness of Allah. Tawheed, yeah. Right? And what I'm trying to dispute with you is what the Quran says about what I believe. But that doesn't necessarily doesn't mean it's wrong, it's right, it wrong for you. Well, let's put it this way, right? If I said to you... Just like Chris, the Bible is not wrong for you, but for me it's wrong. Do Get a thought it. experiment with me. Do a thought experiment with me. Let's pretend that I founded my own religion and I've got my own scripture, right? And my scripture says, Oh, ye Muslims, stop worshipping Muhammad as God because you have exceeded in the boundaries of your religion, right? Okay. As a Muslim, and I'm saying that this is the truth, and that it is describing your beliefs accurately. How would you reply to that? I'd ignore you. Why? Because I know my belief. Unless, unless you can come, like I don't know, but there are certain, <clears throat> for religion to be true, right? There are certain characteristics it has to have, right? So yeah. the messages have to be special in a certain way. Yeah. The teachings, the lessons, the revelation has to be special in a certain way. Yeah. If that religion um, like satisfied all those conditions, yeah. Then we look into it. But, but it that's not my question. So my question no, is, it, my it, question it, is, is I bring a book. How would I feel about it? That's what that, I'm saying. That's so, what I would see. So, I, so I, I, I bring religion. a book that says that Muslims worship Muhammad. Okay. Right? How would you respond to that claim? I'll say why. Why do you think that? Right. I'll because my book tells me. Okay. Where did the book come from? Who's it came from God. It came from God. I, 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 the, God is the author of the book. Is there any proof that... You, so you'd be a prophet then, in that sense? Yeah, in this in this hypothetical okay. situation. So is there any proof of your prophet prophethood? Yep, yep. I'm. I've been. I, I've made prophecies about the future. Are they accurate? Well, I mean, they're about the future. They've but, not come true yet. But that's the thing, though. So, and I've performed miracles. I've healed people. Okay, but in that sense, then. So if that that's how new religions come so, about. So, anyway. so if I perform miracles, does that mean that the statement Muslims worship Muhammad no, no, is no, true? No, that's what I'm saying. Like I said from the start, I'm not a scholar. I don't know what defines a, a religion in the Islamic point of view to be like um, the right religion. Let, let, I'm let, sure there are. I'm sure if you ask some some brothers here, they'll probably be answering. Let, let, let's than ask me. let's ask the same question in a different way. Have you ever been taught or have you ever practiced the worship of Muhammad as a god? No. Right. If someone wrote a textbook to teach GCSE children that Muslims worship Muhammad as a god, would you object to that textbook? I'd question it. I'd, you'd always start with the question, and why do you think this? Right, but would you think the textbook is wrong? Initially, yes. As a Muslim, of course. Initially, so do you think it could be proven that Muslims worship Muhammad as a god? But it can't be proven, that's the thing. Why can't it be proven? Because there's no way you can do it. There's no way you can prove it. Why? Because that guy needs, like I said, for it to be a new religion, it has to have the. We're talking God. about what the what a textbook says about Muslims worshiping Muhammad as a god. Mm. Is that something that you would ever think is an accurate statement? As a Muslim, no. Why? But that's what I'm saying. Like I'm asking you, why would that be an inaccurate my statement? Belief differs from that. Why? Because that's what my teachings are. But that's the same. Like, right. That's so, thing. You're, put, you're, so, you're putting me in a. So, like so I said there at start, right? Yeah. I know you're used to this. I'm you're, not you're trying to take advantage of it. No, no, no. Yeah. You're trying to. You've obviously done this argument with yeah. people before. I don't have the ready answers for you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But that doesn't mean what I'm saying could be very much wrong. Like I don't know. But I don't think you know whether you worship Muhammad as a god. I know that I don't. That's there you correct. Go. But right. to answer your question, I might not be the best person to answer that. So, so here's the, here's the point that I'm trying to make. In just as it, it would be inaccurate for anyone to say that Muslims worship Muhammad as a god. Mm -hmm. So it would be inaccurate for anyone to say that we Christians take Jesus and Mary as gods beside Allah. That's just flat out wrong. Okay, let me ask you a question. And it's flat out wrong, which means that the Quran is wrong, which means that according to the Quran, it's not from Allah. Okay, just the same way you asked me the question, I'll ask you the same question to yourself. Yeah, go on. 
you, your example was a hypothetical one, yes? So yeah. a man came down and said, this is my new religion. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did yeah. come down like that yeah. and had miracles and had yeah. revelations. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you believe? So the one of the, so from a Christian yeah, point of no, view, when something you, like that yeah, happens, I'm going to give you an answer. Please. Yeah. So the reason why I'm going to give you an answer is because the Quran allows me. It, it actually says to me, if this was from any other than Allah, you, meaning me, would find many errors within it, mm -hmm. right? So when I look at the Quran and I find that it misdescribes my belief in the Trinity and gets it wrong. But you're assuming from Let a Christian. Finish. No, but but that's just. But that's the essence of it. It just happens to be the factual point no, of view. To you, not to like me, not to yeah. anyone. But what you but people. what you think about Christianity is completely irrelevant to what Christianity teaches. Like what Christianity teaches has been academically seen for thousands of years. You can pick up textbooks today. Right, and, and written by both Christians and non-Christians about what Christianity teaches, and no academic worth is is qualification would say that Christians worship Jesus and Mary as gods beside Allah. They just don't say that. So I don't know if that statement is true. So, so, I'm, assume, I'm yeah. going to assume it is because you're it saying that. And, and you can, and, and feel free to go away and investigate this yeah. and and see if you can find me the Christian teacher who teaches this. But my point to you is that because it, it really does not matter what Muslims think, because just as it is an objective fact that Muslims don't worship Muhammad as a god, it's also an objective fact that Christians don't worship Mary as a god, or Jesus as a different god. You pray to Jesus, the same way you pray to the Father. Like you go to church and there's a statue of Jesus and you kneel and you make yeah, yeah, your yeah. supplication. Or... Yes, yes, we, we, we pray to Jesus, that's absolutely right. So if you pray to someone, wouldn't that make them a deity? Right, but again, the Trinity, the Trinity, no, firstly, praying to someone doesn't make them a deity. In your essence, though, when you go into church yeah. and you're on your knees and you're asking prayer whatever just means, you want. Prayer just means supplication. Just supplication, means yeah. Request. You're asking for, but, I mean, bro, you, you, you I ask, don't know how you, you Christians When you're do sat it. at the table and you ask your mum to pass the salt over, You've made a supplication. That's, that's, that's from the intention. Exactly. So it's exactly. So it's not so about. So what are you asking Jesus? What do Christians exactly. pray? What do they ask so, Jesus? So, for? so, so, when, 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 firstly, we we worship Jesus as God. That's a fact, okay. right? We all worship Jesus as another God, which is what the Quran is describing. That's the problem. Is I if if the Quran said to me, Christians do not exceed the boundaries of your religion, for there is only one God and that that God is Allah, do not worship God as Father, Son and Holy Spirit because this is not what God is, right? That would be something like an accurate statement that I can then engage with and I can go, okay, I, I disagree with the Quran, but it, at least it's describing what I believe. But what the Quran is doing is it's actually getting what I believe flat out wrong. Just flat out erroneously wrong. I think you're just going on tangent because what I ask, like when you pray to Jesus, yep. what, what would you pray for? If it's not the same intention as praying to a God, what is your intention when you're praying to him? No, no. So, because so, you, you said you used the example of if I ask my mom for a soul, it doesn't mean I'm worshiping. Yeah, so, Correct. So, so prayer, what I'm saying is prayer doesn't make, praying to someone does not make them a God. That's okay, but all I'm when saying. you pray to Jesus, yeah. That so doesn't give make me like it, a, a common that, like supplication. Like so, you so, 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 so prayer. Let, let me finish my answer. Okay. Prayer doesn't make someone a god. People pray to false gods all the time. The thing that makes Jesus God is that he is timeless, that he is the creator, that he himself was not created, and that all other things were created by him, through him, and in him. So that's what makes Jesus God, not the fact that we pray to him, because people pray to trees, but that doesn't mean that the tree is a god. We've, we've yeah? covered that, but like, right? literally, what is, like, so when your go-to, like, suffering. So we will, we will, so we will worship, we will worship Jesus, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we worship them as our Creator, we worship them as our Redeemer, we worship them as our, um, the source of life, as the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, as the light of the world, as the resurrection, as the, the king, word, the, the word only like? sovereign. Like, it's You're not answering the question, that's the thing. Like, well, all right, I'll give you some words. I'll give you some words. Okay, I'll give you some words. Okay, okay, ready? Yeah. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, Lord God of heaven and earth, um, 
Um, so you start by praising. You know, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Or another example is glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, the only Son of the Father, um, receive our prayer. Jesus Christ, the only Son of the Father, um, grant us your peace within the unity with, with the unity of the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. You know, like oh, so sorry. The, the, so you start with supplication. So I mean sorry. Um, so worship praise. Worship and praise. praise. Yeah. Word. Yeah. So you start with praise and then you you, you ask for like um, why not? Keep getting your words confused. <laughs> well, we, so we worship. And then you ask for things like, oh, have mercy. Yeah, 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 like yeah. We ask him for forgiveness for our sins. We ask him to hear our intentions. We ask him to pour out his mercy upon so the world. Essentially, when we make dua, which is our form of supplication, yeah. we start with praise as well. Yeah. And then we ask for like requests and things like that. So in that sense, it's very similar. Yeah. Obviously, the major thing is we you do it to Jesus, we do it to the one. Well, we do it to Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Which is one yeah. for you. Yeah. For you. Yes. I'm saying for you. One in essence. Yeah. yeah, one in essence. Yeah. Okay. So, so another another prayer, the prayer that our Lord taught us, is called the, the the Lord's Prayer, which is Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth. I mean, I've heard that in movies or something. Yeah. yeah, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Is there like a because in, in in Islam? There are some du'as in the Quran. Yeah. There are some du'as in the Sunnah. Yeah. You guys have like a. Separate... Yes, there are prayers in the Bible, that... but within our religion, you're allowed to write your own prayers. Yeah, same, same. I can ask for something very specific just to my circumstance. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, so you, you, one of the questions that you ask me is, why as a Christian do I reject Islam? And the reason. If someone came with all the proof that uh, appeased all the conditions of yeah. a proper religion. Yeah. Which I believe Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did. Yeah. Why would you still say no to that? Because, because I, I believe that I've got a defeater to that argument. Okay. Yeah, and please. the defeater to that argument is the Quran itself. The Quran claims to be free from error yes. and, and to be without um, sin. Yeah. Sorry, my apologies, sin. Um, it's to be free from error and to be um, free from mistakes. Contradictions. Contradictions. Thank you. So again, going back to the Trinity, when the Quran describes the Trinity, it gets it wrong, but and therefore it, wrong it is in error. A Christianic point of view. But that's the only point of view for that you. matters. No, no, for you, that's the only point that matters well, for Christians. Again, it comes, there's lots of other atheists, there's lots of other Muslims that your point of view doesn't apply to them because you're saying, okay, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came down as a message and the Quran has errors in it because yeah. it says um, Christianity is three different gods, but I believe it's one God. But I'm going to reject that because I believe it's one. That's essentially what you're saying. Right. Well, well let me ask you this question. If someone, so if someone, so if someone, so if someone came with a book and said, you know, God has told me that Muslims worship Muhammad as a god, would you take that claim seriously? No, no. You've already asked me. I'm just asking you. But, but I'm trying to get you to see. Look, if if you're going to no, say, no, I could just use the same argument as you do. Like, no. From my point of view as a Muslim, that's wrong. Right. And but, there's no justification for but, that. But, but no. But, but there is an objective fact, isn't there? There is what Islam teaches. And Islam doesn't teach that Muhammad is a god. So therefore, anyone who claims that Muslims do worship Muhammad as a god have to somehow, basically have to squip to the fact that for 1400 years, Muslims have been saying the opposite. And in the same way, we Christians have been saying the opposite of what the Quran says. But from your and we were saying, no, and we were saying it even before the Quran. Yes, we believe that Isa, which we call Jesus, is yeah. a prophet in Islam as well. So the message was passed through him. Yeah. But I think the essence, the the, 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 the crumbs of our argument here essentially is you're saying the Quran has contradiction because it's wrong from your point of view. What? It's wrong from your point of view, the Christian. It's, it's objectively have, wrong. From your point of view. No, no, no. Objectively no, wrong. It's not because you're but, looking at it from a Christianity point of view. But, but, that's what it would be wrong. But Christianity has a corpus of teaching that is incontrovertible. What is that? Uh, I.e. that it's not up for debate about what Christians Who believe. Said that? Right. Simply put, when you look at what Christians have taught for 2,000 years, they've never taught that Mary is a god. Never. Now, 
and in all of their books and in all of their writings and in the Bible, it doesn't say that Mary is a god. Who wrote the books? The books are written by different authors at different times and different places. So okay. Jesus didn't write the books? No, we don't believe that. And it's not a requirement that the Christian faith Do you know like, specific believe. people who wrote the books? Yeah, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, Paul, Were they uh, around Peter. Jesus at the same time? Uh, y yes, except for Paul, who we didn't know him personally, but the others did. How, like exactly like, were they the companions of Jesus? Matthew and John definitely were. Mark was a companion of Peter, who was a companion of Jesus. And Luke was a companion through Paul of all the apostles, so he knew all the apostles because he knew Paul, and Paul met with the other apostles. So these four, these four men. Yeah. Two of them were companions of Jesus. Yep. Two of them weren't. Yeah. And Paul was the furthest one away from like his timeline, right? Uh, no, 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 no. So they were all, they they were all within the same timeline. They were all within the same no, generation. How many years? Or was it like literally? They were all within the same. They were all contemporaries of Jesus. So Paul was alive when Jesus was alive. Luke was alive when Jesus was alive. He just didn't know them. In the same way that there were people who were alive when Muhammad was so alive didn't but didn't know, know Muhammad. Jesus, right? That's correct. Paul didn't know Jesus. Not, not in the sense so that, not in the sense the that maybe Paul, John knew. Not in the sense that John or uh, Matthew did. Okay, so who passed the message to, to Paul? So Paul, when he when he had his conversion experience on the road to Damascus, he went into retreat. He was he was discipled by the early church. We don't know who discipled him. And he received the same tradition that the apostles had, and he went on to preach that. And then he actually goes to Jerusalem, and he meets with the apostles, and he asks them, I, this is what I've been preaching. I've been preaching this, right? Wait, so he was preaching Christianity without knowing Jesus? Yeah, what's wrong with that? No, no, I'm not saying that, but I'm just, I'm just for like a clarification. Yeah. So yeah. he... Ha who sent him the message and if nobody had told him so about Jesus, Christianity... So Jesus spoke to him directly, revealed himself to Paul directly. He had the conversion experience on the road to Damascus. Was it in a dream or was it like a... It was a vision. A vision? Yeah, a vision. See, I never knew a lot about Christianity. I don't know anything. Yeah. So that's good. So Jesus was somewhere else, let's say for now. Yeah. And then Paul was somewhere else. Yeah. But Jesus sent the revelation to Paul. Yeah. And then Paul started preaching it. And then Paul, Paul went into retreat went into after retreat. this conversion experience. Right. He was discipled by Christians. We don't know who. He was discipled by Christians. He then went out preaching the message of the Christian faith. And then he went to Jerusalem to meet with the apostles to go and see, have I been preaching in vain or am I preaching what you've been preaching? And the apostle said, you've missed nothing. You've preached the same thing we're preaching. Jesus told him, right? Yeah. Or, or what to preach? So no, 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 so no, 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 no. Yeah, he came to him in a vision. And told him what to preach. No, I didn't say that. So what did he tell him in a vision? He said, "Why do you persecute me? Why do you, why do you, why do you kick against the church? Why do you, why do you attack the church?" Okay, sorry. What was Paul's like profession before he had the revelation? Like, what, so he was a, why was Jesus saying he was, why you? He was, he was a Pharisee, and he was a Pharisee who was persecuting the early church. So he was actually an enemy of the church. And when he first converted, lots of Christians were afraid of him because they thought it was a trick. And he would, would, was going to town and town, dragging Christians out of their homes and persecuting them and having them killed. And when he converted, that's, that's quite a powerful thing if you think about it, because an enemy has now become an ally. That happens all the time in Islam. Yeah. It happens all so, the time. So, even contemporary. Even exactly. Even it, happened, it happens uh, amongst in the Christian world today, you know, like Palestinians and Messianic Jews who are enemies become Christian and, and they put their differences and their uh, opposition Just aside. Just the Jews or the Muslims as well? M m Palestinian Christians, as in Muslims who become Christian or a Messianic Jews, they put their differences aside and they unite in Christ, even though one's Palestinian and one's Jewish. So, But they weren't Muslim before? Yeah, they were Muslim before, and then they become Christian. And then the Jews as well. Yeah, and then Jews become Christian, and then they become a joint community, and they put uh, uh, their differences aside, and they unite in Christ. Yeah? So my point to you is that what you've got is you've got this apostolic teaching that was taught by the apostles and goes and spreads out, and Paul is incorporated into that and then becomes one of its chief experts. And he wrote it separately. 
Bible? Is there a Bible? He didn't write a separate Bible, no. He wrote his letters. He wrote his letters to the churches, but those churches existed before he wrote his letters. Yeah? So, Sham. Shad, my apologies, Shad. You've been really nice. It's been very pleasant, really pleasant to talk to you. I'd like to give you a gift. Always give someone a gift. Depends what it is. I don't know if I can accept it yet. Have you got a Bible? I can get it online, man. You don't need to. I'd like to give you one. I'd like to give you a gift. Generally, I'm okay. Really? I promise you, I'm okay. Fair enough. Thank you. Fair enough. You might as well give it to someone else, but I have, alhamdulillah, I have access to the internet. And yeah. My, my, my suggestion to you, Shad, is that you, you, you start accessing that internet, start reading that Bible. And then come back and talk to me again, you know. Inshallah. And and what what I would what I would in, in leave you with, if you don't remember anything else from this conversation, is remember this claim. I'm saying there's a flat out error in the Quran. It describes the Trinity wrong. We're going to have to agree to disagree. Well, no, no. I don't think we. I think one of us. I think one of us is standing on truth, and the other one is standing on hope. Okay, but that's uh, uh, what a false you just said hope. can apply to both of us. Well, okay. that's what I'm challenging you. Go away. Research what the Quran is saying about the Trinity. Go away and research what Christians say about the Trinity and ask yourself, is the Quran getting it right? But look, it's it's wrong for you Jesus God, because you're a Christian. God it's you wrong it. because it's objectively wrong. Why is it objectively wrong? Because it is a, it is a categorical fact that there is a consistent <laughs> teaching in Christianity about what the Trinity is yeah. and the Quran that. gets that wrong. Okay, another point. We Sorry, Muslims believe. Carry on, go on, go on. Jehovah's Witness. Which is part of Christianity. They don't they're, not, they're, not, they're, not, they're not part of your Christianity. They're not part of Christianity. No, they're not. So that's, what, an what they say, that's an American religion. What they say. That's an American religion. But that's not Christianity. Old scripture, right? But that's Bible, not Christianity. Do, do English. But it's not Christianity. That's like, that's like me appealing to the Ahmadiyya Muslims. Do you know who the Ahmadiyya are? Yeah, if I said, well, the Ahmadiyya said this, does that mean that that's true of Islam? So, the Ahmadiyya read the Quran. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So appealing, so appealing to the Jehovah's Witnesses is, is for, uh, for a Muslim to appeal to the Jehovah's Witnesses is ridiculous. As a Christian appealing to the Ahmadiyya, it's a nonsensical, it's a nonsensical argument. What are you saying? Sorry. Yeah. So, so, so my point to you is that the. The, the, if the Quran gets it flat out wrong, then you, you think that? Well, it's just no. It's just a fact. It's just a fact that anyone, any academic, will tell you that this is not what Christians believe. And Jewish is wrong. So if they get it wrong, if the Quran gets it wrong, it's a flat out error, and the Quran says it shouldn't have any errors in it. Well, it clearly does. And I've given it to you. Because you're, this is a, that's why I'm saying you agree to disagree. I don't think we're going to change anyone's mind. All right. Anyway, I'll try one more time. Go for it. Okay. Going to be the same. You believe, you believe Muhammad is a god, and you bow down and worship Muhammad as a god and as a savior and as a creator. Am I right or am I wrong? I personally don't do that. No, Islam so teaches that. View, Islam teaches that. So from my point of view, as a as Muslim yeah. perspective, that's wrong. Right. You're using the Islam, same te Islam teaches that. Is that right? No, it does. It does. It does because I say it does. That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. You're coming from from your point of view. Just because it's your point of view doesn't mean it's the reality of how things. Are. Ah, there you go. You see, you've appealed to an objective reality. No, you just did it. You're, you're saying okay. You're saying the Quran is wrong because it differs from what it says in the Bible. No, what, what, what the, I said what is the Christianic uh, teachings are right. No, what I said is you and Islam teaches that Muhammad is a god. He is your creator, and you bow down and worship him. No, you need to do because that's that's my opinion. From a, from a Christian point of view, well, not even a Christian, sorry. Um, you, you, from religion, the made up very, religion very point very of view, the hypothesis. No, no, that's there just no that's just your that's just your clearly, that's so just your opinion. Just that's not what Islam teaches. That's just your opinion. You, but that you, doesn't. I think we're asking each other the same question. But it's like I'm asking you, and like you're not. What I'm, trying, what I'm trying to say, what the I'm essence of what I'm saying is, you're saying the Quran has an error in it. Yes. Right? Let's yeah. just, drop, drop, let's yeah. be the last one. The last All right, one. okay. So, your point of view, Bob. Yeah. Bob, right? 
Quran has a mistake in it, yeah. therefore it cannot be true. Correct. Because my teachings, Christianity teachings, say yes, Christian teachings, differ on the viewpoint of what the Trinity is. The Trinity is correct. Okay. Yeah. Where did your viewpoint come from? Came from the Bible, the Bible. and the teachers, yes. right? Yeah, the apostolic okay. teaching. Yeah. Then that brings. I'm not educated enough to have this conversation. Maybe in a few yeah. a couple of weeks, or maybe. Um, yeah. That brings up the whole argument of: Is the Bible preserved enough for you to be able to take it, it like that? Yeah. Right. Well, not start. That's a whole different topic. I know that's not starting out. But what I'm saying, because you believe in the Bible from your Christianity point of view, that's what makes the Quran wrong. Yeah. But just because you think the Quran is wrong doesn't actually mean it's wrong. Right, and my final point will be this, is that if you say that it is wrong for someone to say to you that you worship Muhammad as a god and as a creator and you bow down to him, and you say that that's wrong, it's not, it, 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 for me to simply well, that's just your opinion, doesn't change the fact that there is a clear teaching within Islam about what, who Allah is and who Muhammad is. Show your clear teaching. Right? No, listen. Listen to what I'm saying. So, so you cannot argue, you cannot say that when it comes to Islam, we have this, ob this objective reality about what Islam teaches, but when it comes to Christianity, we only have opinions. The reality is we have objective reality about what Christianity teaches and no, there you go again. That's here's from your point of view. Right. So, so, so that's my point. That's my point. So you're, but does you're it say in the Quran that you're creating, you're, 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 creating, you're, creating, you're, creating, you're creating special pleading. No, no, but does it say in the Quran that you're all create, Muslims you, 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 you've, missed, you've missed my argument. No, but does it say that in the Quran? You, you've, you've missed my argument entirely. You've missed my argument entirely because what you've just gone is, hey, the Quran doesn't teach that we should worship Muhammad as a god. Brilliant. I accept that. But the Bible doesn't teach that we worship Mary as a god. So therefore, when the Quran says you don't worship Muhammad as a god, you want me to believe what the Quran says because that defines Islamic belief. Well, you should now be consistent and accept what the Bible as the source of our teachings about Christian belief, which doesn't teach Mary as a god, which means the Quran gets the Trinity wrong because the Quran says we do. So the Quran gets the Trinity wrong because what it says contradicts what the Bible says. Contradicts what Christianity believes in, right? Correct. Again, we do disagree, but it's only a different. <laughs> <laughs> you, you literally, you literally no, 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 appeal no. to one standard for Islam and a different standard I really for Christianity. Don't. I really don't, because from a point of view, from your perspective, from my Well, therefore, your denial. Allowed, you're allowed to have your perspective, correct? Then your denial of worship of Muhammad is just your perspective. It's my reality. It, it, well, worship. My no, no. <laughs> there you go again, creating a double no, no, no. standard. It's your reality. It's a double standard. To, to, to have um, the Father, the, the Ghost, and the Holy Spirit. No, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's your reality. Correct? Yeah. So no Mary in that. Oh, no, no. I don't. I, I actually never heard that before. That you worship Mary generally. Thank you. Good. No, no, Johnny. I've actually Good. never heard that before. I don't know. Yeah. The but your Quran teaches that. That's why it gets it wrong. In the Quran, Mary. Is I don't know. I can't say yes to no because I don't know. What, I tell you can you tell me? Do you want me to show you where the Quran is? Only Allah Me, I just can watch. In the Quran, the most high value woman in the Quran is Mary. He said we have given you value of all women. For me, it's enough. Watch it. There is no other woman mentioned in the Quran. I'm talking about the person saying. Mary, Mary, the mother. And Muslim, they don't. Uh, Point at this one. Right. So, let me just show you where it says it. Again, when you. So in five one one six. Five one one six. I know that's coming. That's why I said. Do you speak Arabic? No. And just earlier when you were speaking to your friend, it's about context. Yeah. After it's very important that you know there's context to the Quran as well. Yeah. Of just course. Like she is, there's plenty of. <laughs> Sorry, my hands are cold. It is. It is very cold. Right, so look, it says, And behold, Allah will say, O Jesus, the son of Mary, didst thou say unto men, Worship me and my mother as gods, 
in derogation of Allah, he will say, Glory be to thee, never could I say what I had no right to say. Had I said such a thing, thou wouldst indeed have known it. So the Quran is saying that that Christians believe that Jesus and Mary are gods beside Allah. I'm not going to close I'll, I'm not, I'll, just, I'll hold just show it. me I'll the cover. Yeah, so, so, okay. yeah. yeah. So the Quran is saying that, that Christians believe Jesus and Mary are gods. That's not what we believe. Two so it's gods. just flat out okay. wrong. Yeah, exactly. Two gods. Let me, let me see. Could I, I read Arabic first? Right? Yeah, go on then. That's my language. Yeah. Okay, God saying here, asking Jesus, did you tell people uh, that to worship you and your mother with me? Yeah. And he said no. Right, as gods. As gods. Well, that's not what Christians do. It's not what Christians believe. Yeah, but it's not what Christians but believe. Never said God in the whole, in the whole Quran said Christian people are uh, all of them worshiping. What do you mean? Mm -mm. Uh, all Christians. Never said Quran. The, the Christians. Christ he said all Christians. No, no, his argument is Christians don't. Christians worship don't Mary. worship Mary as a god. Right, show me right. where he said Christian believe. So who is he talking to? That's very clear. He said. Yeah. Did you tell people? He didn't say the question. Right, so who are the people that Jesus yeah, went said to? People. No, Quran, Hold on. One word to mean one who, word. who did Jesus go to? Who are the followers of Jesus? I know in Catholic, some people they do worship. Let, 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 yeah, yeah, let, let, let me, let me, no, you see, no, I'm sorry. Said to people, no, no, sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, you're, you're, you're wrong. You're totally wrong. You're totally wrong. You're totally wrong. Right. No, but he just yeah. said, wait, sorry, I'm confused. Did you say... Yeah. No, they don't. No, they don't. No. This is, this is... Christian as well, sorry. No, no, they don't. Catholics don't worship Mary. Show me another one. They don't worship Mary as a god. This is you're Catholic. No, 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 no. Let's just be clear. I know. I know. No, no. Let's just be clear. Maybe. So I know, like, Let's just be clear. You're Catholic. Do you yeah. believe that or not? Do you believe Mary is a god? Okay. No. no. I'm just so, intrigued. Why do you believe that? If you're a Christian, are you different? I don't say different Christians. I don't want to say the wrong thing. You worship Mary. The, no, no Christian worships no Mary as a god. No, no Catholics worship Mary. As a god. No. So where did you, why did you say? Because he Catholic doesn't know what uh, he doesn't know anything about Catholics. What okay, they let him carry on here. Right. No, no, sorry. Yeah. Let, 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 let's just. I'm here to learn. That's why I'm just asking right. questions, trying to absorb as much so I can. So, so let, 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 let me just put the stamp of authority on this, right? Well, I don't know. If no, wait, 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 one second. I, my, my degree is in religious studies. Huh? Brilliant. Right. So when I tell you that Catholic teaching does not teach that Mary is a god and that people should worship her as a god. They never you, can, you can stamp that as a fact. And anyone who says differently, they're either ignorant or lying. Full stop. I mean, now, you can use that argument of anything. I now, just... I'm going to show to you, I'm going to show to you that... that, 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 that oh, are you needing to go? 